Dubai. Famous for its artificial islands, the world's only seven-star hotel, the Burj Al Arab, and the current world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, which rises to an impressive 828 meters. That's almost twice as tall as the Empire State Building. But Dubai was not always this exciting. Dubai used to be a small fishing village with a population of less than a thousand people. Today, it has grown to a population of over 3 million citizens and has become a major global transport hub for passengers and cargo. Dubai is also home to one of the most ambitious mega-projects ever planned, the Dubai Creek Harbor District. Construction of this $18 billion mega-project and its record-breaking centerpiece, the Dubai Creek Tower, will take engineering to new heights. Dubai Creek Harbor, situated on the banks of the historic Dubai Creek, will be a futuristic and sustainable development that is three times larger than downtown Dubai, capable of housing over a half million citizens. The whole development will be split into nine individual districts, comprising high-end residences, event spaces, galleries, hotels, and even a yacht club. Construction of the first buildings and the Dubai Creek Tower has already begun. While the development is just a 10-minute drive from downtown Dubai, properties are being offered at a lesser price. It provides its residents with a peaceful life close to the water and nature in remarkable surroundings. It has already been dubbed the New Vision of Dubai and is considered to be the new icon for the Dubai Expo 2020. To mark its arrival and place in the Dubai landscape, the Creek Harbor District needs an iconic landmark, and not just any landmark. The centerpiece of the project will be the next tallest structure in the world, the Dubai Creek Tower. When completed, the Dubai Creek Tower will be the tallest structure ever built by man. And they even keep the exact height a secret so that no competitor can plan ahead and build a higher tower. This leaves a lot of room for speculation on what its final height will be. What we know is that the tower will rise between 928 and 1400 meters tall. To give you some comparison, that's three and a half times the height of the Empire State Building. This project is well on its way to breaking another world record. It does not come as a surprise that the construction of this incredible structure will not come cheap with the estimated cost of construction put at $1 billion. The design of the Dubai Creek Tower is inspired by the natural shape of a lily bud. It also draws influences from local Islamic culture. The central column is shaped in the form of a slender stem with a net of steel cables for reinforcement and structural stability. The structure encompasses design excellence, environmental sensitivity, and smart technology, embodying Dubai's vibrancy, energy, and positivity. The tower is being built by the construction company Imar. It will have 10 of the world's highest observation decks that will give panoramic views of the city. The observation decks will offer rotating balconies that will extend outside the tower's facade. There will also be two garden decks whose design was inspired by the hanging gardens of Babylon. The structure will house a high-end hotel, green spaces, restaurants, and event spaces. A central plaza that is 500 meters in diameter will offer retail spaces and a museum below the tower. Special light effects will be used to highlight the Dubai Creek Tower's features during the night. The peak of the tower will emanate a beacon of light. The main structure and steel cables will be illuminated to highlight the tower's design, while movement lighting will also be used to enhance the structure's visual appeal. You can imagine how stunning that will look. The tower's design is focused on making it eco-friendly, especially considering Dubai's unique climate. It will have a highly efficient cooling system. Collected water will be used to clean the facade, while green corridors across the structure will provide solar protection. The integrated shading system will also improve the tower's energy efficiency. You can bet that building a structure as tall as this needs great planning and precision. The construction team divided the process into three steps. The first is the piling work, the second is the concrete base, and the third is steel work, 
which includes the fabrication of the steel cables. Construction began in late 2016. For the foundation, over 170,000 cubic meters of earth were excavated. To give you some perspective, that's the equivalent of about 70 Olympic swimming pools. Then piles were brought and sunk 75 meters deep into the ground. When that was complete, concrete was poured into 16,000 tons of steel reinforcement for the base, bringing the weight of the base to two times that of the Eiffel Tower. The first two steps of piling work and building the concrete base have already been completed. In fact, they were finished two months ahead of schedule, in May 2018. There have been no updates since then, with little work happening above ground. The tower is supposed to be finished in 2020, but considering all the unique events that have taken place this year so far in the world, that may not be happening. Don't be surprised if the completion date is pushed to a later time. In terms of size, it will be a very tall structure, most likely rising to a height of 1,300 meters. The Dubai Creek Tower will be much taller than the current tallest tower, the Burj Khalifa, which is 828 meters tall. It will also be much taller than its competitor, the 1,008-meter-high Jeddah Tower, which is currently under construction. Let's do a quick vote. Have you been to Dubai and the Burj Khalifa? Let us know. You can vote in the top right corner of this video. If you've noticed, we've referred to the Dubai Creek Tower as a structure, not a skyscraper. So what's the difference? According to the expert body, there are two criteria missing for the Dubai Creek Tower to be called a skyscraper. First, a skyscraper needs to fully support its own structure. The Dubai Creek Tower is not fully self-supported because it will partially rely on its reinforced steel cables for stability. Second, for it to be considered a skyscraper, at least 50% of its total height must be habitable. This does not apply to the Dubai Creek Tower because only 30% of the tower will be habitable. This means the Dubai Creek Tower will be considered the world's tallest structure, but not the world's tallest skyscraper. This might prove controversial, so keep an eye on how that'll go when it's finally completed. Dubai keeps astounding the world with amazing construction engineering, and the Dubai Creek Tower will be the latest travel attraction in the coming years. So what do you think about this iconic new tower? Let us know in the comments below. If you love this content, remember to press the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Top Luxury for more videos. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.